To make the silicone microemulsions, first what we want to do is prepare the water that we'll be putting into the aqueous phase. We're going to use the MCP. Um, this is the MCP setup. We have the distilled or deionized water. Our buffer is ranging from, in the case of acrylics, from 5.0, 5.5, 6.0, 6.5. .5. Our citrates, same pHs, 5.0, 5.5, 6.0, 6.5. The EDTAs, same pHs, 5.0. And then our surfactants, which we won't be using, and then our rinse solutions that are pH adjusted and conductivity adjusted. We're going to do a 6.0 EDTA solution. So we're going to take one mil of the 6.0 EDTA. And put in our cup. And we'll also take one mil of the 6.0 buffer solution. Put it in the little measuring cup. And because these are concentrated and expecting a dilution of one to five, we'll take three mils of distilled deionized water to bring the total volume to five mils. That was two and one. So we can always check on the graduated markings on this that we're at five mils. Now that's the aqueous phase of the microemulsion. Now we'll use our phase diagram. Or more conveniently, a tabular form. We'll be making microemulsion H on the phase diagram, which is 50% cyclomethicone, 25% EcoSurf EH3, the surfactant, and 25% of our aqueous phase. We'll be using the MCP that we made. We can also use the 6.5 pH adjusted water or even deionized water. Making the microemulsion, we want to start out with one gram of our components per 10% on our chart. So we're going to do 50% cyclomethicone, so that's five grams of cyclomethicone in our little bottle. So we do five grams of cyclomethicone. That's 2.4, point oh. 5.0 grams. We tear the balance, and we'll do 25% of the EcoSurf EH3, or 2.5 grams. One, two, Two point five. You'll notice that the EcoSurf is soluble in the cyclomethicone. So just shaking them up, we should have a clear solution. Um, this demonstrates the fact that we can clear this material with the cyclomethicone, that the surfactant will dissolve in the cyclomethicone on clearing on the surface of the painting. Now we we'll want to add 2.5 grams, 25%, 2.5 grams of the aqueous phase. Because this is a microemulsion, the energy of the aqueous phase and the energy of the cyclomethicone have been balanced by the choice of surfactant. So it takes very little agi agitation to make the microemulsion. So here we have our microemulsion. Ideally, it should be clear. Um, it's very temperature dependent, so sometimes it'll be a little milky depending on the temperature we've made it at. But basically, this is a homogeneous material, you can see the viscosity is relatively low, unlike a conventional emulsion.